Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Jurors here. I want to welcome you to the first episode of my vanilla PvP with Admin Abuse series. The series where I do whatever I want with zero regard for anybody else playing on the server. But please, don't feel too bad for those folks. I literally named the server Vanilla... Let's see what I... Vanilla Survival PvP with Admin Abuse. It's right there in the title. You can't blame me if I abuse. <laughs> Alright, let's um... Uh, Let's go ahead up the coast and see what we can find. Also, if you end up enjoying this video, don't forget to click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell to be notified of future episodes. All right, guys, we're approaching a farm. We're gonna try to get a chainsaw if we can before we start heading up, up north a ways. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> we are unbelievably lucky. But what are the chances of that chainsaw just spotting me? Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. A freaking helicopter. It has no gas. Let's go try to find a gas can. Actually, I don't even know if we want this helicopter. It's just the Orca. I mean, it's kind of like too big. I mean, six seats? Who needs six seats? Let's go over to Krovi and get the, the better helicopter. Oh my gosh, guys, we're coming up on Krovi and I see something awesome here. What is it? Oh man. The helicopter we... Wait a minute. Oh my god. Guys! Dude, I've only heard about this the double the double hummingbird spot. I've actually only heard about this. I've never seen it in my life. But apparently two hummingbirds can spawn on this helipad at the same time. Why whoa, this one's hundred percent. This one isn't. We're gonna destroy this one. Um and we'll keep this guy. That'll be our ride, as long as we don't blow it up. <laughs> Oh man, there it goes. Adios. Alright guys, I don't know if you can hear me over the helicopter. Let's try to die down a little bit. I think we're going to base on this island. So I haven't built a base on this island in like five years, maybe even six years. But this is the first base location I ever had on Russia, so we're going to do it again. It's a windy night tonight, I wonder if you guys can hear it in the background, but we are going to build our base here, this is a pretty good location, so we're going to go start chopping down some trees and get this bad boy up. Alright guys, so I figured we better go get some better clothing and hopefully like a backpack or something like that at the military base before we start uh, trying to build just because it's going to take a really long time if we don't have a whole lot of space to um, store logs. Okay, let's see what we got in this one. Oh my god, Alispec! Two Hell's Furies! Oh my god! <laughs> That's freaking awesome! That's so sweet. Oh, and we got a shirt to switch out. We can make a bandage. Oh my god. Our luck is so crazy good. I mean, look at this thing. Oh. All right, guys, we're back at the base here. Um, we planted some crops, so that's good. We were gonna get some food sources going. And then also, we built a locker with some of the metal we found. So let's put that bad boy down. We're going to destroy these two Hell's Furies in there. Let's just hope nobody breaks into these guys. <laughs> Otherwise, they get two Hell's Furies. So we went and chopped down a ton of trees, as you can tell, because there's a bunch of trees that are chopped down around here. And now we're going to start building out the base. I'm trying to kind of figure out where we want it exactly. But this spot seems pretty flat here. So I think we're going to do it in this area. We might do multiple tiers. We'll have to see what, what we decide on.
All right, guys, so the base is coming right along here. We got the uh, foundation down. The idea is that our base is back here. We're going to have a, a three-floor long, like, uh, patio or deck or whatever you want to call it. We're going to have pillars coming up um, to make a little veranda patio here. And then it's going to come down to this. We're going to make a cool statue guy who stands right here, I think. Um, that's what we're going to do with the Hell's Furies, I think. Those are going to be his arms. We're going to try to make him completely out of guns. <laughs> we'll see how it works out. Um, and so we'll have a very nice view. The view doesn't look very good right now. Between, because between it being a blood moon and it raining at night. I think it's nighttime right now. It's just uh, it's not a great view. But in the morning, we will see that the view is freaking awesome. Alright, let's continue building this bad boy. All right, so we have a pretty decent base built out here, but it's kind of square. So we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do here. Whoa. Uh, look at that. Oh, man. I really like the pillars. I want to make it look like uh, one of those older houses with the big white pillars. I should have probably done the whole house white, but I think there would have been no contrast if we did that. It would be really cool if there was like spray paint cans or something in this game. I heard that they are in rust. Uh, but So we're going to have to do something with the roof because it kind of just like... The pillars connect to nothing. <laughs> and then also down here it looks a little funny. Whoa. Because the pillar is like half off. Not connecting to anything. So I don't know what we're going to do there. But we're going to start with the roof. What I kind of want to do here is have like a, a triangle coming up. Like those old houses had. And then I don't know what we'll fill in the gaps with. Because it's really hard in Unturned, I feel like, in Vanilla to do triangles. <laughs> To do anything but a square seems to be kind of hard. Um, I mean, triangles aren't terrible. Maybe we can figure out something for it. But we're going to try to figure out how to make like a triangle-shaped roof just across the whole house. And I think we can do that with ramps. I've never done it before. I'm sure it's been done, but I don't. I don't recall seeing it. So we're gonna we're gonna get in the helicopter, fly to the top of the roof, and see if we can uh, figure something out up there. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of a big roof. Like, I wish we could do an angle that was like that instead. But I think this is the best we're going to do. So let's do some fast forwarding and see if we can't get this roof down. All right, so we have something built here at this point. It looks like a really dangerous helicopter storage. <laughs> let's take a look and see what it looks like. All right. Okay. Let's go look from the other side. I think the other side might be better. <laughs> it doesn't look super great. This is the, uh, the side I really care about though. So this side has to look good. Which I think it's getting there. The thing that's irritating me right now is that we can't make this a perfect square. <laughs> All right guys, it's been some time now and we're getting decent progress on the house. Um, so you can see here that we added the, uh, uh, the little railings here. And then we also started trying to fill in this gap here. We haven't started on trying to make this a triangle, but it is coming along and it's starting to look like a house with a roof on it, which isn't the most common thing in Unturned. So we got the nice glass in here. Of course, it's a, uh, it's just hard glass. It's not uh, the one-way glass because we want people to be able to see inside and say what's up. And then I'll show you on this other side, we started to fill in these triangular gaps, but we're having a little bit of trouble. I mean, this side doesn't look that cool, but that's okay. So we filled in the gaps with just some like random plates. Um, so if you see the gaps here, so in any attic, you always want some ventilation. And so that's why we left these gaps here. It's definitely not because we gave up on trying to fill the space perfectly. And then also we put in a bunch of um, metal siding on the back end of it, just in case somebody did like pillar up somehow or hover in a helicopter or get on a roof and start trying to bash in uh, these wooden plates because they would break with uh, with just fists. You wouldn't need any explosives or anything like that. So that's why we put that in. And so I think that's going to have to do. There's just not a whole lot of triangular things to fill in the space. We tried these pine ramp, pine ramp, any ramp wall, but we, we tried these ramp walls and the ramp wall went too far over the house and I thought it looked weird. So we're not going to do that. So I think we're going to stick with this strategy until we think of something better. Okay, so we finally finished this side, and I think it looks okay. 
<laughs> it looks uh, it looks pretty good, I think. It's kind of funky that we had to have the little gaps in here. Um, it kind of irritates me, but that is okay. This is the best we can do right now. We're going to try to come up with a better way to do it. And we're going to think on it. But I think overall, for an unturned house, it looks pretty freaking sweet. I'm just glad we have a roof on it, to be honest. <laughs> okay, time to go to... Uh, um, what is it called? Firewatch base. And we're going to try to find some filters and a tank. And then we're going to go raid the dead zone. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we are finally at the Firewatch base. We're going to see. Whoa. We're going to see if we can get some uh, filters and gas masks. Whoa. God, how many shots does this guy take? I swear I'm headshotting him. What in the world? Well, anyway. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can find here. Filter. Oh my god! Someone must have died here or something. This is insane. Well, we're good to go, guys. Uh, we don't have to keep hanging out here at the Firewatch base. We got everything we need. Pick up those for some metal. Um, wow. What a find. How lucky am I? Please write in the comments and tell me. <laughs> Ooh, a landmine. Whoa, flaming guy. Ah, oh, jeez. We're not bleeding at least. <gasps> tank, there it is. I don't think I've ever seen that color of tank. In the Russia map, which is super cool. We're bailing, boys. We're out. Okay, come on. How does that stop a freaking tank? They're literally designed to go over like anything. Alright, let's put our generator down here. We're going to grab our jerry can. Uh, that's all we could find. Uh, we had to make it. <laughs> okay, now we should be able to lift this bad boy. And look at that. What happens if we drop it down on a tank? <laughs> We're glitch, shirt, glitch searching when we shouldn't be. Oh my god, it's blowing up our tank. Get in it quick! Whoa! Alright, here we go! Time to go to the dead zone! Whoa! Oh my god! What the heck is... Oh, man! Look at all those missiles. Okay, well, now we know what ammo we're using when we hit, hit the dead zone here. Oh, we're out of space. Uh, we're going to have to drop something. These missiles are, like, super rare. You rarely ever find giant pockets of, like, 20 of them like we did right here. Like, really, that's, like, super rare. Um, so we don't want to miss any of them when we're picking them up. And, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get to the dead zone. And let's hope it goes well. Okay guys, we are standing here waiting for lightning to strike again. Because there's freaking lightning and thunder in this game now. And I had no idea. <laughs> Scared me half to death. <laughs> uh, but we're going to wait for it to strike again in case you guys haven't seen it. It's actually super freaking cool. And also, thinking about it, we should have brought a second person because I don't know who's going to man the gun. Like, I guess we're just going to play both roles, and I'll be the gunner and the, um, and the driver. Damn it. Oh, that was some, like, lame thunder and lightning right there. I guess it didn't strike very close to us. Game time, let's do this. Oh. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> well, that guy's gone. Um. Oh my god. We are bleeding. <laughs> uh, how's the tank doing? Okay. <laughs> um. 
<laughs> Go find a blowtorch. <laughs> okay, we're gonna find a blowtorch and then we're gonna come back to the tank. <laughs> See you guys in a second. Alright, here we go. Let's get this guy all repaired. And it's about that easy. Time to cruise on in. We'll come back for the loot that's up here later. What? I've never found an APC in the wild. That is freaking sweet. Okay, we're taking this guy home too. We might abandon the tank here and take the APC. We'll have to see what we decide. Because we would like both, but man, APC. So freaking cool. Okay. Whoa! Uh, what are we trying to do here? Oh my god. <laughs> this isn't looking good for us, guys. <laughs> we can only use the tank cannon here. That's the game plan, at least. Um, we got some, uh... The, the biggest thing is the spitter. We gotta try to aim for the spitter. And... Oh my god, we didn't reload. <laughs> Get out of here. God, it takes so long to reload it. My mic... My mic's falling down. Oh, things are not going well. I need new springs in my mic stand. Oh my gosh. We killed everybody but the freaking spitter. Are you kidding me? Oh no, the, the invisible guy's still there. I like how I can't see him. He's right in front of us. Both of them. They're just kind of like staring at me, confused. <laughs> Stop it! No! Oh, oh god, he's gonna blow it up! No! Fix it! Fix it quick! Oh, we saved it. Okay. I don't know if you guys knew that trick, but if you did it, you know. <laughs> Okay, let's get this bad boy raised. And then roll on in. We're just gonna shoot one shot to start out with, and it's gonna, like, make all the homies come on up here. It's gonna be good stuff. Oh my god, that turning radius. radius. I think, like, tanks are kind of too crappy in this game. Like, they're kind of freaking useless, to be honest. What are we getting stuck on? Okay. You're going down, buddy. Well, we got that one. Got an invisible zombie coming here. another gunner or something like like you need like a, a machine gun on it or something I don't know even when you have like infinite tank ammo you're freaking well we shot ourselves that's probably a good place to stop <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching um, we're gonna go try to get our loot back and I will see you guys in the next episode Bye bye Ah, uh, the coast.